So this is uh, okay. This this is uh, I don't know if they're still live right now, uh, but this is Revenge of the Sis, episode four eighty six. Question. I don't even know. I know they got a MAGA lady on. They're probably going to be exposing some MAGA cringe. I love MAGA cringe. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of MAGA cringe. By the way, lady, I'll just tell you in advance, I may very well be making fun of you. I might be, but uh, I don't I don't mean you uh, any, any ill will. So anyway, these dudes. Uh, this is, I think, Royce and Mike. They, uh... Well, he Mike kind of describes himself as kind of a a a, a, a fascist light, and there's uh he's kind of yeah I, I don't even know if he's really accurate to describe himself, but basically he is a a a non racialist nationalist non imperialist kind of person. I think that's kind of what he would be. So he's not really into the whole. He 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 wants a an Amer a strong American nationalism, but he doesn't want one based on whiteness or anything, and he's not really into the uh, American Empire either. So he would like a strong American nationalism. You know, I, I, as mere as I can, he and Royce Royce uh, doesn't really say nearly as much specifically about his politics usually as uh, Mike does, but I'd say Royce is probably generally in the same camp. And he would, I think he's described himself as some form of nationalist. Now, Royce is Cuban, so anyway. But they, they, they love uh, what I really like about, well, first of all, these guys are funny. Just, they're both comedians. But I really love how they, they rip on the, the LARPers of the right. And uh, I, I would say that when I listen to these guys, these guys are closer than a lot of people. Even if I don't agree with their, their nationalist stuff, uh, they're a lot closer, I think, to understanding what I refer to as the, 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 the on the ground, the, 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 the bone reality. Like they cut through a lot of the ideational spooks. They don't really make very many claims on moralities. They're pretty brutal when they deal with everyone, and uh, I really appreciate that in human beings in general. I, so anyway. I'm sure that this is going to fit into what I was describing earlier uh, on the tactic, the, I will say, ill-advised tactic of using social authoritarian code as weapons against your political enemies. And how, well, how the right is beginning to use this now on their own. <clears throat> This is a rap about a MAGA hat. I can't do this anymore. It's over. Mike, it's come over. on. This is uh, probably worse. Okay, they always play this one clip of this clown posse dude that does this horrible rap. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, I'm not going to play it, but this is, might be worse than that. Come on, man, pay attention. I need, no, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, the, the, I get it, right? Everybody's going to, because me and Royce always go, oh, well, you know, it's still going to be the lesser of two evils. We're probably going to have to vote for Trump. Look at me right now. I need you to pledge to me that we will not vote for Donald Trump. You can't vote for We can't allow this. You can't vote for the. You can't. I would rather this country burn to the ground <laughs> with all of us in it than, than, than to co-sign this. Let's hear her out. This is a rap about a MAGA hat. Promise. The one that always taken by a Democrat. Trump's policies <laughs> are so grand. Vote for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dirt so me. I happen Sanders. to come in right I'm as they're for Bernie Sanders. They, they've left it. They're done. They're done. They're totally Watching done. the economy. Expand. Oh, wait. I don't. I mean, I don't know what the problem is, dudes. Okay, so she's cringe. So, like, how much of her life is spent crafting this right here? How much of her life is spent crafting political knowledge in general? She's just a human being that uh, 
is trying to express herself because everybody can do it now. It's so cheap to express yourself, so that's why you see more things like this. And I don't, I don't know. This isn't a reason not to vote for Donnie Boy. I mean, it's cringe. It's cringe. To take your friends to a MAGA crowd Jesus. where the love of freedom With this. is found. It is difficult to believe that uh, we live in a land in which uh, we do allow our fortunes to be put into the hands of individuals. That I mean, I don't know if she's LARPing and she's playing a, a playing because there's plenty of that. She could very well be that. I hope she is. God love her. But. Uh, to think that uh, these are the people that uh, the, these are the people fundamentally that the uh, Democrats and Republicans are hoping to reach. These are the people that they need to give them the power to point the guns in the places that they think the guns should be pointed. Because that's politics. All politics is is negotiating, if you will, <laughs> uh, such as that is. Uh, you prefer to, to, to not use guns in a negotiation to negotiate how the guns will be pointed. But as the cost increases and the uh, potential reward and the potential cost of losing increases, well, then that, that, that tendency tends to increase. But anyway, let's see what they say. Let <laughs> With those front teeth, I feel like she should be doing a whole two-hour broadcast about us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, ma'am. Continue. A crowd where the love of freedom is found. Let them conform to the Trump plan. Ethic Lynn Beck, he's now a mega man. Is he? Oh, this is why I get it. This is why they hate this so much. Because these are the people that Glenn Beck is is helping to turn into this. These are people, like I said before, she's just a, uh, most likely, she's a woman that uh, she probably works long hours or whatever. She probably spends most of her life dealing with the daily worries of how much money she has. Like, she's just one of us, man. She's just one of the poors. Like, fundamental, she's one of us. The poors. We is the poors. We's all the poors. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she. This is this is what Glenn Beck does. This is what Stephen Crowder does. This is what all these idiots do. And and the left has their own. You know, we talked about the Young Turks. They do this to this version because there's plenty of people like this. This woman is. I'm not. You know, she's stupid, but she's stupid in this part of her life because she doesn't. She. I mean, I'm just. I'm. I'm supposing. Again, unless this is a LARP and an act, and it very well could be. But if she's not, and I've seen these people in for real that looks like this, but she's stupid in this in this in this part of her life, and and she looks to people who allegedly have the knowledge that she does not have the time to actually learn, and possibly the capacity. I don't know. I don't know her life. I don't know because I've met plenty of people that that sound this dumb in politics. And then you talk to them about the thing that they're 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 good at, <laughs> and they're freaking geniuses. So you have no idea. I don't know the totality of this woman. I don't want to assume too much here. But but these people, Glenn Beck and all the rest, they 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 they, they use the 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 easiest, lowest common denominator marketing tricks to get people to send them money. Everything is wrapped around getting people to send them money. Money, money, money. <coughs> and in so doing, instead of being good stewards, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with the trust that they've been given, tell me what's going on in the world. I'm concerned and I want to know what I need to do to protect myself. That's pretty much what these people are tuning in for. And what Glenn Beck gives them and what Steven Crowder gives them is... <laughs> and furthermore, Glenn Beck, Glenn Beck, who was the never-Trumper until he saw that that wasn't paying off, he thought he would he would have gotten a really good bounce, he would have got a lot of progressive. He, he was just chasing after money, most likely. I'm not saying... Allegedly, by my, my alleging, but... Uh, 
he's just chasing after money, and then he sees, oh, this MAGA thing is staying around. Is this the money? Look at how much money Crowder's making, and he's not even a Jew. That's a joke. Everybody does that. Uh, so, yeah, he's not even a Jew. Holy moly. And do something about that. I better switch on over. I'm a mega man now. Oh, and Crowder is now part. Of, oh, Glenn Beck gobbled up Crowder, too. So Glenn just put his little tentacle out and gobbled him up. Yeah. By the way, the Jew thing is, uh, you know, because Ben, Ben, Ben is, uh, what's his face? Uh, ben Destroy, Ben Shapiro. Uh, just another one of these hucksters. Same moves helped turn her into this. These people. These so-called conservatives that sucked all the life out of the room, sucked all the resources all the, out of the room, all the energy out of the room. These charismatic bullshit artists that when they, now these guys, may, I hope they don't hate her. They shouldn't hate her. It's not her fault. These 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 folks that that don't have the, the time and or capacity, whatever combination thereof to 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 know fully what's going on in the world turn to people who do have the time who do it for a living and those people they don't honor their commitments they don't they don't produce authentic information they produce cartoons that turn this woman into a cartoon she's a fucking cartoon i guarantee you this is just a tiny part of who she is though just a tiny, tiny part, but all you see is this. This is all you'll see when it comes to talking about politics, too. This is the part that'll show up. She'll be this fucking cartoon. Because of people that she trusts. Is he a MAGA man, or is he selling you mugs, you stupid buck tooth bitch? That's really mean. It's really mean. Am I wrong, though? You're, I'm not saying, but you're being mean. Watch the Trump face. Oh God, she's doing her own hook. Yes. Nate Dogg should oh, have I'm never died. Told, I'm being told this is a Mo Collins character. This is my problem right here. Is that Wait, Nate he's Dogg being told this is a Mo Collins character. Is that for real? Is this a bit? bit? Is this a bit? Like there was a time in the 2000s where hip hop hit a very dark time. And it's it wasn't darker doing now. Very well. Nate Dogg would say, remember he would save like every song. They just throw Nate Dogg on it to sing a quick hook, and yeah. you'd go, Oh, huh, the song's not so bad now. <laughs> you should have never I don't died. know this reference. Expand, expand, watch the Trump face. Expand, expand, walk away. I don't like this. I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her teeth. I don't like her dumb. I don't like, by the way, I hate her bootleg fucking Chinese Amazon Make America Great Again hat. She couldn't even get the real thing. <laughs> <Was it the laughs> that is, You're right. It's, it's like a comic sans. That is so fucking, perfect. Yeah, I, like, look, I understand you support Hong Kong, the but you should buy your thing. MAGA hats from it. And, uh, dude, everything about this woman is all her fucking moon man shaped head. She's terrible. Moon man shaped head. Walk away. Hey, walk away. And no, I don't have a problem with them making fun of her. It, 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 you, you can you're you're gonna put your video out there you know you be prepared to make fun be made fun of i don't so far at least i haven't heard them saying anything to you know, you know what i want to do is like royce is like yeah man it's kind of rude but uh it's kind of funny too and uh yeah i don't mind laughing at her to some degree people gotta like just get over the whole people shouldn't laugh at your shit you know, there's degrees and perspectives and all that shit. So, go ahead. Make fun of her a little. Because, I mean, she's being pretty cringy. It's pretty embarrassing that if this isn't a bit, that she actually chose to upload this. Hey, walk away. The only way that this video would end well is if got if she got t-boned by a garbage truck doing like a fucking 100 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god if this was a bit um, that would be really she funny. looks like she should be lying about jesse to hank schrader <laughs> common sense philosophy in the chat said i never griped for this <laughs> i never griped for this i did not gripe for your lulls walk away walk away i know a lie when i small it's 
Oh, and I small it. I oh my gosh, she small it. She small it. Mike, she small it. Come on. Oh, that's. Oh, I want now. I, I hope she has no children, and if she does have children, I hope she never ever shares this with them. They must never know that their mother ever recorded something in which they said small it instead of smell it because small it and race and hot button words and stuff. And then she said when she actually recorded it afterwards and she looked and she played it back, she said, yeah, yeah, this will totally work. This is this is comedy gold. It's, it's gonna fucking sell it, bitch. And she hit upload. My dear young lady, I have to tell you, there's gonna be some issues here, young lady. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to ask you some questions. First of all, do you work at a glue factory? I just want to know. I just want to know because starting point here. I know that uh, some people who appear to be regular huffers are only that way because they work at glue factories, and I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, Jussie Smollett. She's doing, like, she's she's saying that he's a liar. Great freeze frame, by the way. That that right there. That, fr that is that a pretty good freeze. Is, that's that's, that's po positive. You, you can't, like, honestly, we can't vote for Trump again. I mean, I can't speak for you, but we like. I can't. I can't. You don't like the dope rhymes? Dude? I'm not. I'm not voting for him. I, mark my like. I'm. I'm deadly serious. Listen to my words. I am not voting for Donald Trump again. I'm not doing it. Hater. It's gonna. He would have to. He would have to pull such an insane like Patriots Falcons Super Bowl comeback. Like it, 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 the kind of comeback that this wow, man would have reference. to pull. Like. We would have to have another 9-11 five minutes before we went into the voting booths for me to elect Donald Trump again. I'm not doing it. And I, he might win with or without us, but I am now officially campaigning against President Trump. Hold on. Maybe I could turn you around. That was it for him. Oh, my around? gosh. All right. Well, I will, uh, I will end our visit there with these guys.